Welcome to the Monte Cocktail Lounge. I'm sommelier Andre Houston Mack, and today I'm gonna to show you how to choose a fine tequila for this holiday season. So the first thing that a sommelier generally looks for in any type of beverage is terroir. What that really means for tequila is where the agave is grown, how it's produced, and how it's harvested. With Terramana tequila, they only use 100% mature Blue Weber agave from the highlands of Jalisco, which takes longer, about six to eight years from the time that it's planted to when it can be harvested. And what's interesting at Terramana, they actually use the leftover agave fibers in the fields as fertilizer. Beyond agave, which is the key ingredient in any good tequila, the next thing some ways look at is the process. There's so many ways to produce tequila, but with Terramana, they use a small batch process. It's not mass produced, but rather handcrafted using traditional methods in small batches. So once the agave is harvested, it's cooked in these small traditional brick ovens, and this is to prevent any type of over caramelization while it's still building up that agave flavor. So after the agave comes out of the oven, it's actually distilled in 100% copper pot stills. 100% copper pot stills make for more pure, smoother tequila. There's three different styles of tequila. So what's the difference? Generally, it's based on how they're aged, which kind of creates a different flavor profile. So first up is Blanco. So this is the most traditional type of tequila. It's clear, it's unaged. Uh, let's try it. We got our glass here. So what you're gonna get here is that pure agave flavor, bright citrus notes, smooth, fresh finish. Tequila enthusiasts, this is what you're looking for. This is like, it's fresh, smooth, and clean. So next up is Reposado. Reposado in Spanish means rested, and this tequila needs to be aged a minimum of three months in ex-bourbon barrels. What you get here is a mellow flavor with a rich, warm oak with a pure agave finish. So next up is Añejo. Uh, and that actually means aged in Spanish. So this tequila is actually aged a minimum of one year in ex-bourbon barrels. There is um, a richness to this. There's a warmth to it. Uh, definitely the presence of oak. Uh, there's vanilla. The agave here is presented more in a roasted kind of flavor. There's a sweetness to it, a hint of sweetness to it that kind of just like adds to the richness. You know, it's a pretty complex finish. So now we're on to my favorite part. How do you enjoy these spirits? So with the Blanco, with its bright and citrusy flavors, to me, this is like perfect for a classic margarita. The key ingredient in a margarita is tequila, and the brightest and the freshest, I think, is Blanco, and to me, this is my go-to cocktail. So with Reposado, it's aging in warm oak flavors. I think you need a cocktail where you want a little bit more rich and robust flavor. Um, to me, it would be a spicy margarita. So I think the spiciness teams up well with a more rich and robust flavor. So Terramana Añejo, uh, to me, is a true sipping spirit. Uh, and for here, I prefer it neat or on the rocks. This, you know, after a holiday meal, chatting around with friends, uh, is a perfect way to enjoy it. So if you're looking for more ways to enjoy Terramana tequilas, please head over to the Terramana Cocktail Lounge and check out the Cocktail Generator. Cheers.